Hey everyone, Michael Durr here with PhotoPXL.com and today we're going to be looking at the GoPro Max. That felt good. The GoPro Max is GoPro's newest 360 camera. I've done some test shooting with it already and I'm really enjoying the flexibility of this camera system. Cut to Paul. <laughs> nice. One of the things I want to take into consideration when creating these types of gear videos is how it would benefit a photographer. Why would a photographer want to add a camera like this to their kit? Well, maybe you want to start vlogging, or perhaps you want to share your camera setup while in the field. Or maybe you just want to capture some fun travel footage while out on location. The GoPro Max is a good answer for all these scenarios. The Max is a compact system with all the build quality and functionality that GoPro is known for. It has easy menu navigation and a great touchscreen that also functions as a selfie monitor. With a dual lens setup, the Max captures 5.6K 30 frames a second 360 footage, but can also be changed to hero mode or it functions like a standard GoPro. This footage maxes out at 1440 60 frames a second, but depending on your use, this may suit your needs just fine. Although, I do wish it had 4K capture and hero mode. How much did I pay for this video? Zero dollars. <laughs> One thing I did not show. This has the prongs built in. Time lapse is another benefit for a photographer. If you were resting on a hike or setting up camp, you could toss the Max on a small tripod and capture some amazing time lapse video clips that you could actually reframe later. From there, it's very easy to upload to social media or incorporate these clips into your travel videos. What do I need Paul for? <laughs> One of the things that makes a GoPro Max, this could take a while. One of the big benefits of this camera, as opposed to other cameras of the same category, is the audio quality. As any video professional would say, good audio is a good thing to have. Audio is the most important part of creating good video content. With six microphones in this small package and some amazing wind noise reduction, you can be sure you'll be getting usable audio without having to worry about an external mic. You run in with me? Another benefit to this system is the new 6.2 megapixel, 270 degree power pano photo capture. This is an awesome feature that allows for one click panos as opposed to using your mobile device and having to slowly pan the horizon. It also eliminates any strange artifacts that can occur while panning across moving subjects. There unfortunately isn't raw image capture on the GoPro Max, but that might be something they add in future iterations. It is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled so you can edit and share from your mobile device. I found the editing of the 360 footage to work great both in the app and on the desktop application. The Max currently sells for $499, which isn't cheap, but with all that's packed into this camera, it might be a good tool for you to start dabbling in video. There are many more features to this camera that I will cover in the article on PhotoPXL.com. In closing, the GoPro Max is a great, durable, multifaceted tool to have in your kit. You can do a lot with 360 cameras with minimal setup or thought, and that's what excites me about using these. Because you can be in the moment and record, and then go back and tell your story later. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to visit PhotoPXL.com, where we're enhancing your vision. See you in the next one.